mind. Okay. Okay. And Malcolm Shabazz, under the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, took those teachings all over the country. Every college, Huey Newton, Bobby Seals, Fred Hampton, the Saturday Brothers, Rap Brown, Stokey Carmichael, all of those radicals were college students, and Malcolm rose them up and put temples all over the country. Malcolm Shabazz, with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, was the baddest thing out there. Couldn't nobody touch him. And if he was here today with the teachings, he'd be untouchable to this day. Do you believe he died a hypocrite? He was betrayed. He was the only one mistake he made. Listening to, listening to Yaku, who he thought was the messenger's son, but didn't know that that messenger's son had the mentality of Yaku. That's the mistake. Okay. I believe he made more than one mistake, but I... You got that right. You know. Uh, I agree. No, in the interest listen. of time, uh, uh, Sister Jocelyn, you, you have the closing words. Okay, I just want to say and elaborate, you know, on Melchizedek's name, right? When you get into Melchizedek, it, he has one line, what Melchizedek means is a collector, preserver, protector, distributor, right? right? And then when you get into defining, you know, high priest, okay, that's on a high level of, and the priest is one that deals with the sacraments, right? So when you put all those together, you know, where, you know, because I used to say, well, well, he calls himself high priest, but it's not to the point of looking for, uh, you know, looking for some glory. Right. But a high priest is one who distributes the sacraments, the, the teachings. I'm of the so glad you're here because you, you balance, brother. Up. Because, <laughs> well, I, I, I have said, to explain. Because you, you know, this is going out. You know, I'm all over. You know, blip TV, Google video. <laughs> People are going to say, "What is he talking well, about?" Well, I have to explain <laughs> it the what, right. what it really means. It's the distributor of the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, yes, which is basically a priest. What he does is right. he distributes the sacraments. So the messages teaches is the sacraments, uh, you know, for our whole, for all of us here in North America, as far as black people, and he's the one that's out there. Re not um, like a lot of people say he's bootlegging, but it's you know not, when we say bootlegging, he's recopying the teachings because he doesn't really change anything in the okay. book. It's just the covers of the book, you know, because most of the time, back in the time in the '60s when they got the lessons, it was given on paper. Right. You know, so yeah. to make it look more sophisticated Attractive to today's to today's right. time, right. it's covers on the book. Right. You know, so Beautiful you know covers. we have to yeah. we have to stay away from just you know putting people in a certain category, and we don't go and study and learn. See, one thing Malcolm did, you know, he had good quality. He went to that dictionary and understood every word. So, you know, when me and my husband first met, I went and understood because, you know, I'm a person, I'm not going to let anybody just feed anything to me. So I went and checked out different things, and I understand where he's coming from. And our relationship is beautiful because I'm on a physical part, and he's on the mental and the spiritual. So a combination, you know, because like I, I think I explained to you the other day, when people are in pain, you know, they hear what you're saying, but they go right back to that pain. They're not really focusing on what you said. They may hear you for that minute, but as soon as right. they walk away, they're back to, I'm hurting here, I'm whatever. Right. So my thing is to work with people to get them back on the how to eat to live so that when they go deeper into the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad as given to them by Master W.D. Farad, that they will see this better in a better light because see, pain can make you so distorted in your thinking. That's true. You know, so yeah. I'm just trying to get, I'm not trying to keep you like the hospitals try to keep you, you know, pills, a cabinet full of pills. Just getting everyone back to a regimen of taking care of themselves properly so that when these teachings does come to them, they're able to grasp it and they don't be so full of right. pain and ailment. Now, oh, sorry, the, now, the reason why those lessons is in book form. You can't shut them up. You can't, you can't. <laughs> No, the reason why I put them in book form, yeah. to get them inside the penal institutions. Okay. You can't steal Xerox lessons, Xerox paper into the penal institution. It has to come from a publisher, professionally done, and that's why I put in the... And actually, the books is not for those who know. It's for those who don't know. I'm not even think Those who know, I'm not even thinking about them. I'm going after those who don't know. And them books, the Supreme Wisdom, even the one I did with the five and cents, I re republish. I don't write nothing. I just republish. Is in all the penal institutions across country. Now, how would someone across the country, if they want to have your books and uh, get in, in touch with me, call my priest? How would they get in touch with you? They can call me uh, 718-257-4022 or 917-554-4274 uh, or go online www.thenationofislam.org. 
do yourself a favor and make a copy of all those lessons because all those lessons are directly from the Department of Supreme Wisdom under the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And as long as you follow what Elijah said, you'll be successful in all your undertakings. All praises due to our Lord. Sister Jackson. And I just went, last time I was on your show, I didn't have, um, I didn't have an a, a email address, and I do now. It was jrfmshavazullah at hotmail.com. One more time. jrfmshavazullah at hotmail.com. Thank you so very much. I thank you so much. I want to thank Brother Minister Kevin Muhammad and the believers there at Newark uh, Mosque number 25B, Muhammad Study Group number yeah. 25B, for the, uh, the hospitality and allowing us to come in. We did a wonderful interview with uh, Dr. Wesley Muhammad. Excellent. And I'm just thankful to all of those believers there for, for the kindness that they showed yes. to us. Yes. Thank you so much. Brothers and sisters, I'm Brother Lance Shabazz. Oh, yeah, one more thing. The, in Chicago, the National Black uh, Ensemble Theater, go see Joe Tex and the Soul Clan, 4520 North Beacon uh, in Chicago. Please go see the Joe Tex show. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You took the original Joe Tex? No, the original Joe Tex passed August 18th. I know, I know that, but I'm saying. They have a play on him. On him? Oh, yes, sir. The, no, the, sir. The, the, okay, in that play? Well, we could uh, wrap this up. Uh, okay. Brother will oh. not shut up. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> please shut up. <laughs> I got to get, get it in there. Yes, sir. Yeah, get he, those lessons. If anybody tell you not to or try to prevent you from getting those lessons, that's Yaku. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. brother number one I only claim that name because you gave it to me and I hope I just didn't earn it as a singer I hope I earned it as a man I want to say what's happening to us I think we we, we just we blew we, 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 I don't know where we're going I don't know where we're coming from I know where we're supposed to be coming from but I don't know where we're coming from now because what is going down why are we killing each other in every town every city there's from 8 to 10 to 15 blacks killing each other. We're killing each other so fast, the white man don't even respect us enough to make it to let it be part of the news. You don't even make the news when you kill each other. You know, to show you how low and how stupid it is. Yeah, if we we use whitey for a sickness. Let's don't use that thing. Like Mr. Muhammad said, do for yourself. If you don't do for yourself, you ain't nothing. How you gonna tell me how to help black people and you ain't doing nothing for yourself? Or you tell me where I'm coming from, and you don't know where you coming from. Don't come bringing me no program talking about what you're going to do for black people and I look at you and you look like a bum. Put your tie on and a suit and get out there and do something. Hey, I